Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Baru and Build. We are back today to do hopefully what's going to be a quick episode. Um, got a lot to talk about and a lot of uh, catching up to do since I've been gone for a couple of weeks now. And uh, we are actually here in the town of Moore, and this is where we're going to be working today. The main reason why is because I need to be able to crank out a lot of quick videos. So we are going to be working on some smaller projects that need to be done. And I've been meaning to do for a while now. And man, does it feel good to have Optifine with shaders in this area. I love how foggy and misty it looks. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. So what are we doing here in the town of Moore? Well, if we come over here, we're going to see an atrocity and it's um doesn't look pr that good. Uh, so we changed our acacia wood and um, yeah, it, we changed it back to being orange. Originally, our acacia wood was jungle wood and this these shaders are ridiculous. Let's go shaders and let's go back to the default redone. Is that good? Sec, I think, ow, whatever. Let's go to these shaders. And then if you didn't know this, I didn't know this when I actually did shaders. If you go to that little shaders option button, you can actually go to like sky and lighting. You can turn lens flare off. You can make it default and you can turn God rays off, which I don't want to turn God rays off. I want to make them low. And then let's make the, let's go back into shaders options and then the fog where is the fog fog options and then you go to default and then go done and then boom now everything is a little bit easier to see there we go so as you can see that looks pretty bad it doesn't look the worst actually comparatively but doesn't look that great and uh, we're here to fix that. So originally we used a butt ton of acacia wood here in the paths in this area and the walls to make it kind of blend together. Originally our acacia was the jungle wood texture. Um, and so it had kind of that pinkish hue and that actually worked very well here. But now that we've changed back, there's some acacia wood that we need. Actually, all of this acacia wood needs to be swapped out for, I'm thinking, potentially doing dark oak because it'll make it. Let me just grab that. Uh, I'm thinking dark oak or jungle wood. And uh, so what we're going to be working on today, just a small project to do. Um, I'm going to do all of this, but probably not all of it in this video. Um, I wanted to update this to being more of a wooden structure with maybe some um, dark oak and uh, jungle wood, like this mixture right here. I think this goes really well together. So I wanted to make this the palette for over here. And then I'm going to change all the uh, acacia wood out here for some jungle wood, uh, change all of this out, as I said. And then over here, We'll also change this all out for I'm I'm going to probably go also with dark oak and the uh, dark oak and the jungle wood. But I might actually go more jungle wood heavy on this structure because we do have the dark oak roof um, that we don't have to necessarily. So I think that's where we're going to go with. And then I think we're going to swap this all out for jungle wood. All this acacia wood in the paths is going to be. Uh, jungle I think it'll make the most sense because it'll be kind of like rotten wood on the ground um, and I think that'll work the best hello llamas oh I have names for these I have to go find that video where I asked for names so let me did I name them did I ever get around to naming you no I never did um, so let me let me actually like find those and maybe I'll try and name them as well in this video and we also have this big storage area a moderately big storage area and uh yeah we need to either swap the chests out for something 
besides our coffins or or not we don't necessarily have to i suppose um but i need to grow some jungle wood to be able to actually like do all this so let me get to grinding just a touch to get some jungle wood and then i'll be back and uh, i'll have an update for you this is probably going to be a quick video with just filled with updates um and uh, i wanted to get into a little bit of talking um as well so let me get some materials gathered and then i'll update you and talk to you some more about what's going on and why videos are the way they are currently or the lack of videos i should say so i'll be back in just a few seconds all right guys so i have a style that i'm actually really really liking um so obviously i haven't done too much i just wanted to get the style established and to jump back in with you and I am, I'm digging this. Uh, it's stripped spruce wood and our jungle wood texture. And what's nice is this almost has like a little bit of a green tint to it. And this has kind of a greeny brown tint to it. So they go pretty well together. I need to make this match this color because I like this color more. Um, but the, yeah, so this is what we're going with. And I, I got to say, I am liking it i have also been changing the floor out here uh the floor the ground i've been changing the ground out i think i may hate myself for doing this but i may change this out for like uh spruce wood or some other like stripped log um let's 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 try something here these are the logs Let's try doing some dark oak. Let's see here what that looks like. Uh, let's go here. OK, so let's go here, here and here. So let's go there, there, there. And then let's try stripping them. Doesn't look quite as good. Maybe we do dark oak and stripped like that. Um, no, I don't think that's working as, as, as good. Ooh, here, here we go. Let's do this. We've got jungle wood. We can do this, this, oops, that. Yeah, yeah, we use jungle wood and then we can also strip it and get this green and I'll darken that as well. But yeah, I think this is going to work. It's going to use a lot more jungle wood, but I think the green makes sense for a swamp i think it makes sense so let's go with that um i think i think this is the the way we should go more green than uh vibrant orange so i think that'll be good it's playing off of the swampy nature of this place but it's also going to make it feel it's gonna make it honestly feel more like a, a grungy swamp but we can bring in life by adding all the flowers and stuff. I think that'll be a good, a good middle ground. Um, now, what I wanted to talk to you while we do this, I wanted to talk to you about what is going to be happening. Um, so the reason why videos have been kind of sparse is because I am planning a wedding. As many of you know, I am getting married in, geez, what is it now? 22 days or something like that. So I'm getting married in 22 days. And um, that is taking precedence over everything else, as it should. But it is also taking away a lot of my time. I, I recently, uh, well, okay, so it's taking away a lot of my time, but last week was not the wedding's fault really um last week was more of work getting in the way um right come on let's get up here um last week i so i had i had a lot of stuff <laughs> a lot of stuff happening so i had a wedding on uh two saturdays ago let's go uh, was it here here and then this was here here uh sure i think i don't know where this one came from uh sure we'll go <laughs> we'll go with that um and then nothing else on this wall okay this 
I just want to make sure I put these in the right right place. So let's go there and there, 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 and boom, 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 and nope, negative, uh, boom, boom. There we go. Okay, now we can just plow down on this. So last week I had, or two two weeks ago, I had uh, a wedding on Saturday to go to, a wedding on Sunday to go to. And then I had uh, to take Emma to the airport Sunday morning. So Saturday evening, uh, Saturday, I probably could have recorded and I probably should have, but I wouldn't have had any time to honestly edit the video. So it wouldn't have come out anyways. Um, but I, I had to take Emma to the airport. OK, I guess I didn't have to. I volunteered to take Emma to the airport. And uh, her and her sister needed to go to the airport for their family vacation. And um, because I volunteered to do that, uh, we'll go with this. And then let's do, actually, let's do this like that and that. There we go. Um, so I was taking her to the airport, and she had to be there at... 4 40 or 5 or something like that in the morning so because of that i went to bed early on saturday so i didn't really record that day and then i had a wedding on sunday and uh due to having a wedding on sunday and having to get up ridiculously early that day um i didn't record on sunday so i originally was going to try and record on actually this is just going to be stripped like this so i was going to originally try and record on sunday but uh, i i got home from the airport and was like i'm going to be productive i was productive for a solid oh i don't know two and a half hours or something and then a wall hit me a, a wall of tired hit me so then I decided, all right, not going to be productive. going to go to bed. So then I went to bed. And then I proceeded to sleep for Lord knows how long, way longer than I meant to sleep for. And uh, yeah, so uh, I slept way longer than I meant to. And because of that, I was unable to record. Oops. Uh, what was that? When did we just pick up? This? You? Sure. And then, ah, I bet you go here. And you go, um, here. That looks good. So, <clears throat> was unable to record on Sunday because I slept way later than I meant to. Um, and then I had a wedding. And then I couldn't actually stay up late Sunday to Monday because, one, I had to work. Two, I had a business trip that day. So, I had to go to Chicago from oh what what time let's see what it was a three three day business trip i think monday to wednesday two weeks ago or yeah two weeks ago or last week not this past monday but two weeks ago and so i had to go to chicago from monday to wednesday and then that only leaves thursday for me to actually you know get a video out to you and that's not really enough time for me to get a video that I actually would enjoy um, out to you. So, didn't actually, wow, oh, that was weird. Uh, didn't actually get around to recording, and I am very sorry about that, but it's just the way it is. And we are back, hopefully, to being able to make some videos, but I will say the reason why I'm telling you all of this in a very haphazard way is because I am going to have to do something about the format of our videos uh, right now because I I need to focus on wedding stuff I need to do that for my sake and Emma's sake and I want to be there to be able to help as much as possible. So, uh, 
Was there a wall here? There was, wasn't there? Well, okay. I'm guess I'm guess I'm gonna just do that and plop 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 plop. Go like that. Okay, that's good enough. Um, and then let's do you, and then let's do you and you. Cool. And then that other wall. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. All this orange junk I will change out sometime. I don't feel like doing it right now. But that's the wall done. So this is what it's gonna look like now. And I think this is gonna look much better. Yeah, this this flows better with the town of Moore, I think. It just looks better. Anyway, so content is gonna have to be different. Um, I have a plan. I want to make some quick videos for you to be able to, I guess, have a better a better release schedule so that we don't have those like couple weeks where we don't have anything coming out. But I also want to make it easier on myself to be able to actually come out with videos. So how do we do that? Well, the way I'm going to do it and the way I think it's going to just be the best for it is to do a basically a schedule of time lapses instead of regular videos. And it's going to be content like this, cleaning up old builds, I think. There may be a couple things in Brassington that we do that aren't terribly important things to do, um, but nothing too crazy. Uh, and the reason why it, we're not going to do stuff in Brassington is because that is a, a current city we are building i don't i don't like the idea of i don't i don't know i don't like the idea of uh doing a a series where i actually don't build and talk like the like kind of like what we're doing right now um i was going to do this in a time lapse but then i figured this was a simple enough job that i could just do it now um but I don't like the idea of building up a new city and not talking to you about it. Um, so that's why we're going to probably stray away from the town of Brassington or city of Brassington for now. It's more just to save Brassington for actual Bruin build episodes. I'm not, uh, this is going to be a, a Bruin build episode, but I'm not going to actually, um, make it a a Bruin build up. I'm not going to make the the time lapses Bruin build episodes if that makes sense cuz they're not really they're kind of filler episodes. Yeah, I think this this is just going to look better overall, I think. Um so I need to just pause for a second and gather my thoughts so I can get this out so this video isn't stupid long. All right. So the way videos are going to work for the next about a month and a half to 2 months is going to be as follows. We are going to have a sort of time lapse series happening where we are doing cleanup jobs around previous builds and or mm, there might be a new build that I want to do that could or could not happen. I don't know. Um, so Town of Moore, what we need to change is all of this acacia wood. We need to change out for jungle wood. That is what we are doing currently. And then we may add some builds over here that are minor builds that are not really anything crazy to work on. Is that a red sheep? It is. Um, and then change out all that acacia wood, change out all the path, everything. So I want to finish the town of Moore in this area as much as I can um, without making it feel like you guys are missing out on the actual building process. Now, that's the town of Moore, which Town of Moore actually has quite a bit of acacia wood to change out. So that could be a, a time lapse that we do part of it and then do something over here. I don't know. Next, we need to go over to the gypsy camp and we need to finish off some caravans that we never actually finished and or never actually even built. We need to do the entrance to the path, the path to the main entrance from the town of Moore. There will be a path that will eventually lead out. Um, speaking of that, we need to do a gate or something in the town of Moore somewhere. I don't know where, probably over there. Um, 
So we need to do a gate here as well, and we need to do a path. We're not going to do the path that leads there because I, I, I just don't want to do that right now. Um, but we need to have the beginnings of the path that go into the gypsy camp right around. Actually, let me go fly over there. We'll, we'll talk about this as we're viewing. All right, so we're here in the gypsy camp, and there are some things we need to finish. One, these caravans. This is where the entrance is going to be. So we need to finish these caravans off right here finish it off just real quickly we could do caravans or tents i don't know probably single story and then the entrance is going to be over this way and eventually we'll lead out of the woods so that is one thing that we need to do now we also need to do maybe a little bit more landscaping potentially not really sure um, let's see if there is anything else oh we need to change out all of this wood in the dark oak area for this birch wood to make it the silver wood forest uh, that's never been finished so maybe we'll finish that off as well and then we've got this area which i think this could use a little terraforming and uh, so we could do something around that and maybe make putting some campfires in here would be good as well since we have all these fires uh, that needs to be removed and then this needs to be a little bit more landscaped i think that would be good we need to have the pathway continue around this side here we need this is where the path is gonna these meet up uh, this is like the one of the other entrances so this meets up right here and goes leads to there that path needs to continue up that way and then this is going to lead around this way go over here and then we need to terraform all of this get rid of a lot of these trees and terraform this up so that there is a path that leads this way all the way over to sarthal now sarthal has some work that needs to be done so we have this wall finished and this wall finished but what we need to do is finish this wall we need to finish this field area let's let's go on up here we need to finish this field right up here i think that will be not that bad to finish honestly sarthal is the most finished this area right here needs to be finished off just put some plants and some terraforming stuff and then what we need to do finish this wall maybe do a little terraforming here uh, and this wall so it's mainly walls in sarthal that need to be fixed up and then maybe some planting and some other various activities to do around here but other than that sarthal is pretty much complete and uh, so those are going to be a few episodes worth of cleaning up that I would like to get done so that we don't have to worry about it anymore and we can just kind of finish it up. We also might expand the tent area that's over there. Uh, we may expand the tent area just a touch, but not too much. And I think in terms of in terms of Gypsy Camp and Sarthal, that's really all that we need to do. Now that path is going to be a butt to work on. Um, it's going to be annoying because it's going to be like a lot of path block and then a lot of dirt block and then a lot of horse dirt and a lot of blah, 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 blah. But that's OK. And then I may actually tear all of this down just to get rid of it because it's kind of silly and in the way. But that is what we need to do. So that is what is going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. And then I have an idea for a Mesa village to do. That is a small little project that is not going to be too crazy. Um, but I'll tell you about it just real quickly. So in, if you watched E3 and you saw the Nintendo Direct with Link's Awakening, there was a... Uh, house that I liked and I think it could work in the Mesa area and I want to try out a build style and that's basically all I'm going to tell you because I don't want to spoil it. So yes, um, let me get a little bit more work done here. I think that I want to get this all, at least this building right here, I want to get this worked out. I'm not going to do the paths and stuff, but I might do the path, I guess, right here. So you get the idea of where this is all going. And uh, then we'll end the episode. And uh, I think that'll be good. So those are the plans for the next month and a half to two months is we're going to be doing some cleanup stuff and it's going to be more time lapse based so I can get more videos to you. But 
it's easier on me that way as well. So I wanted to just inform you of that. Um, and the reason why it's going to be like a month and a half or so instead of just like the next like 20 days or something like that is because 22 days is the wedding. And then we have a week in Aruba for our honeymoon. And then we have a week after that that I'm just not going to work. So I'm not going to do any of this. So it's another like five weeks or so. And that's about a month, month and a half or so for me to be able to get back into content making. So that is what's going to be happening. And uh, yeah, so let me get more work done on this so I can have something for you to see. And then, uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up after that. So I'll see you in a few. All right. So we got some work done. I actually did a bit more than I was a actually planning on doing, but I like how everything has turned out. Um, I switched out all of this floor wood um, with spruce and jungle. So the spruce wood is where the oak wood used to be. And the jungle planks is where the acacia wood used to be. And then I put jungle logs in where the oak wood oak logs used to be so and some of them are stripped some aren't most of it's because i accidentally stripped them but we're just gonna go with it um and i really like how this is all turned out this is what it over here is looking like i think this looks pretty dang good compared to what it used to this is a good mesh of what we had before but updated to better fit the swamp i think and also uh, better fit the sort of the t the texture changes we've made. Um, I like all the green kind of overgrown mossy feel that this has now. And so I am I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out. I think it all looks pretty dang good. Now I have not changed in here at all. This is all still needing to be changed. I will fix that in uh, at a later date. But the next thing that I have changed is over here, I did, in fact, change everything that is... Oh, I should probably have gotten rid of this before recording, but it's too late now. I got rid of all of this and made it into that combination um, and swapped out the oak logs for dark oak logs, and I think that works better. This still isn't as cohesive, I guess, as I would have liked, but it's not terrible. Um, it's definitely not bad. And I think what I might do is play it. What is that llama doing? Huh. I will play around with the green glass texture. I don't know if I really like this uh, design of it. It's a little hard to see with all the reflections happening. I, I, I don't know if I like the designs of it. It's not bad, but it's not good. Um, so we'll see about that, but I, I'm happy with how this has turned out. I think it looks pretty good. I even changed it all the way up until here. And then I stopped at this point because we need to do some farming for wood in order to continue. All I'm going to do here is change out. I think, well, I'm probably going to change out everything. Honestly, um, it's a bit of a job to do. But I think it's going to be good when we actually change it all out. So I may actually keep the oak. I may keep the oak in this pathway and just change the acacia because it didn't look too terribly bad. Like it doesn't look too bad um, in the ground. It's a little bright now with our path texture and everything. It's a little bright, but it's not horrible. And I, I don't want to do too go too crazy. Um, oh, this is another project we could do. Uh, we could actually finish this wall. I really don't want to because ugh, I don't know. I hate walls. They're not terribly fun, but we could do that. This area looks good. Definitely like the little bit of terraforming I did here. Really did enjoy this. This is quite nice, um, but that is going to wrap it up. And I think uh, I'll show you the inside. It, there's not too much happening on the inside. Um, really just is what you would imagine. Uh, I didn't change out all of this, but over here you can kind of get a feel for what it'll look like. Looks pretty normal, looks pretty standard, and I think overall it is pretty good. Let's see if this changes colors. 
Yeah, it did. It got rid of the orange. Yeah, so it, got, it gets rid of the orange, and then it looks a bit more brown. And overall, I think that's good. In here, we may need to do some sort of change. Don't really like diorite. I may change the diorite texture just in general. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see what B00, since he's been actually starting videos again. Um, I'm going to wait and see what he's got for texture pack changes because he always comes out with pretty decent texture packs. He's, I mean, he's the inspiration that I had for the, my texture pack. Um, and I want to see where he takes the new Minecraft textures because I think that could be pretty good. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where that goes. But that is going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. I, I think that we need to call it here because I've got just a good amount done and I'm, I'm happy. I'm pleased with the outcome here. I even swapped this out. Um, pleased with the outcome. I think it looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, sorry for the weird content um, and sorry for the upcoming weird content. Uh, I know it's going to be a bit strange, but hopefully you don't mind being back in the town of Moore and the other places for a little bit just to get a little bit of quick content in. Um, and yeah, if you're new here, uh, this is not going to be like normal schedule for Bruin build. We're going to it'll be nice because you'll be able to see the old places, I suppose, to be able to get a little bit of a feel for our town of Moore and our, our other our gypsy camp and Sarthal and all that. Be nice for that. But. Uh, this is not the actual place we're working on currently. Um, but if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Join the little family we've got going here. If you like the video, leave a like in real life. And I will see you guys in whatever happens to be the next episode.